The Adventures of Robert, brought to you by Nature's Miracle. Now, just for cats. So, I know you're wondering, Robert, what do you do all day when you're not practicing the guitar? Or buying guitar equipment, or whatever it is you do, or repairing DVDs, or hooking up like completely weird wireless remote iPods, or restoring old 1930s fans, or rebuilding uh, purely mechanical clocks, or generally messing about with the rest of this garbage that lines your living room. What is it you do? Do you just sit around and watch your hair grow? Well, no. I've got a problem, you see. The problem being that these fish are too warm. What's the temperature there? Oh, I can't see. Let's try here. Yes, the temperature is at about 86. Right? Well, that's, I want to put my red cherry shrimp back in there, but the last time I got really hot, they couldn't survive. So here's these sh silly fish with all sorts of other gizmachis in the tank because goodness knows that the lab continues like all the way down the hallway. Um, strange devices stacked everywhere. Well, I decided to give these shrimp a cooling. So what I did was I went out and I got one of these. Yes, it's the, what is it? It's a six liter portable refrigerator that plugs into a cigarette lighter. Well, I don't have a cigarette lighter in my apartment. So I had to take this device which was thrown away by Radio Shack because it used to electrocute people. So all I had to do was open up this Radio Shack power supply, this 12 volt power supply, and rewire it so that the ground would no longer be uh, conducting the hot lead from the AC into the chassis of the device. You see, this is a piece of wire. Yes, it's a very exciting thing. This piece of wire made in China, has a white wire and a black wire and a green wire in it, just like any other, you know, sort of three-pronged prong device, you know. See? Three prongs. The problem is, the people at... Can you see it there? No. I'll just read it to you. The people at Young Lee Cord Company decided that when they stuck this head onto this wire, that they would stick the white wire to that line instead of that line. That line got a white wire, that line got a black wire. Right? No, wait, I'm backwards. That line got a black wire, that line got a white wire. The problem being that this is the hot lead. This is the ground, and this is supposed to be the, uh, the neutral. Well, with neutral connected to white, that meant that hot was connected to black. So when at the other end of the device we reached this box, somebody assembled it per instructions and put the little white wire and the black wire where they were supposed to go, thereby exposing the chassis to live current. Really beautiful. The device was then, um, where are we? I could show you. Maybe I can show you. Well, the device was then recalled by the Consumer Product Safety Commission, and uh, when I found it in the garbage outside Radio Shack, it had a note on it going dangerous, you know, has been recalled, you know, hasn't been fixed, blah, blah, blah. So I had to open it up and fix it, basically swap the wires out. That was the whole problem. Now that I had a 12-volt power supply, a cigarette lighter in my apartment, I could safely plug in the wire, plug in the cable, Turn on the device, the power supply, and plug in my, yes, plug in my special super duper portable refrigerator. Yes, with its fun leather top. When open, you can see inside the refrigerator, well that's, that's not supposed to be there, that's just like a, a piece of insulation, but anyway, that's where you put up to six liters, nine cans of cold beverage, 
Well, what I did was I, into this tub, I immersed these coils, back to the fish tank, these hosey coils, which are all joined together. I didn't have, a, I didn't have like 20 feet of hose, so I took a bunch of sections and joined them with uh, garden hose repair fitting and hooked them up to that pump and circulated water through these coils and then back into the tank and out that location where it's being measured by the thermometer. Problem was that the coils, even though they were in an insulated container and, and soaked in bags of water with a little bleach in it to keep them from, uh, from developing algae, even though the chamber of the refrigerator went down to 45 degrees, it could not have the slightest impact on the tank. There just was not enough coolant flow. So, what do I do? This is what I'm up to now. I took the refrigerator, tore the front off of it, because this is just an insulated box. There's really nothing sitting there on the floor, and removed the guts of the refrigerator. Yes, here they are. Which is now at 64 degrees. Well, that's the head end of the refrigerator. What's it got going on? Well, it's got this device. Yes, the magical device. When you apply 12 volts across the magical device, this part's just a thermostat to turn it on and off if it gets too hot. Right? When you apply 12 volts in one direction across this magical little block, and I'm sorry, I'm not up on the technology. I don't know exactly what this, what this is called, but um, this part, whoo, where these screws are, it gets very cold as being measured by this lead, which goes out to the display, which is now showing 59 degrees. Okay, so that's just display. This is just a thermostat. On the, on the red lead, and this is the power being brought in by a 12-volt supply through the cigarette lighter plug right there. So, the block is now at 59 degrees and getting much colder. The heat from that block is conducted through direct contact to this heat sink, I can pick the heat sink up because it's not actually attached to anything. There's the heat sink with a fan blowing on it. So, heat sink gets hot. Cold block. Woohoo! This whole thing gets really cold. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yes. It is time to take this block and immerse it in the fish tank somehow. Well, probably not directly. Um, but I don't want these wires in the fish tank. What I can do. I can get some aluminum, like a whole lot of aluminum foil or something, and I can screw it down onto these. This is where the uh, this is where that insulated tub used to attach, and then the cold would be felt throughout the insulated tub. Viz. That is what I do <laughs> all day. <laughs> I'm not practicing guitar. So, now you know. See you next time on The Amazing World of Robert. Bye.